Hi, in this video I'm going to discuss sperm competition. Sperm competition is a form of postcopulatory sexual selection. It is only relevant when one female mates with multiple males. This female stores the sperm of many males and it is up to the sperm to race to the egg and fertilize it. So, who will be the lucky winner? Males have various strategies to increase their chances of winning, like inseminating more sperm per ejaculate, faster swimming sperm, inseminating moderate amounts of sperm and removing sperm from the previous male, or disabling rival sperm. Sperm competition can be placed into two general categories. These two are in the category of adaptations that increase the ability of one male sperm to outcompete with the other males. While these two are in the category of adaptations that prevent rival sperm from copulating with the mate. Let us now take a look at the second category. Adaptations that prevent rival sperm from copulating with a mate include mate guarding, sequestering, frequent copulation, production of mating plugs, and lastly displacing rival sperm. Let's explore these in greater detail to really understand how sperm competition works. Mate guarding is when the male increases the amount of time he spends in close association with a fertile female in order to make sure that no other male mates with her. One of the strategies of mate guarding is via prolonged copulation. This can be seen with a yellow dunce fly, where the male remains with the female for 40 minutes. Sequestering is another technique to prevent rival sperm. Males limit female contact with other males by isolating her. And this isolation can either be physical or chemical. Chemical isolation results when some substance reduces the female's attractiveness. For example, in the case of the green-veined white butterfly, the males inject methyl salicylate along with sperm, causing a smell that repels other males. In the Centra sedani, the male causes the female to smell like a man, which also deters other males from her. The third technique for preventing rival sperm are mating plugs. A mating plug is a result of a substance that is transferred by the male to the female, which acts as a guard by sealing the genital opening. We can see this in chimpanzees, guinea pigs, and lemurs, just to name a few. Lastly, a technique that I find particularly cool is displacing rival sperm, literally by removing the sperm from previous males. We can observe this in the black-winged damselfly, which have a penis in the shape of a scrub brush, and during copulation, the male abdomen pumps up and down, scrubbing out the sperm of other males. Now, you're probably wondering how successful is the strategy really? Well, about 90 to 100% of the sperm is removed, so it's a pretty good method. So I've mentioned earlier that the production of abundant sperm increases the chance of one's male sperm to outcompete that of the other male. So interestingly, there is also a correlation between production of sperm with the size of the testicles as well as the mating system of that individual. The larger the testicles, the more sperm is produced which also means there is sperm competition and thus a polygamous mating system. On the other hand, in a monogamous mating system, there is no sperm competition, and individuals who are monogamous have much smaller testicles. We can see the distinct size differences in the chimpanzees, who are polygamous, and the gorillas, who are monogamous. And that's a wrap on the topic of sperm competition. Now remember, it is fertilization, not copulation, that is the driving force of sexual selection.